Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, Wine 101, where we talk about inexpensive wines that, uh, that we think are really worth buying and trying. Um, the theme of our show, of course, is inexpensive wines. For me, uh, $10 bottles, and uh, Steve tends to drift more towards the uh, 12 and the 13 dollar bottle, but we're going to compare <laughs> typical varieties and, and, and in that price range. So today, Steve, I think we're, we're traveling away from Portugal. <clears throat> Oh yeah, um, today we're going to go to Spain. Um, this the region that that this one is from, and excuse my pronunciation, it's uh, Catania, and uh, as I said, it's just south of Rioja. It's uh, quite a bit north of Madrid, but it's still quite a hot area, um, cool at night too. And the the Garnacha grape, um, to my taste, is always has a sweetness in it, even if it's a dry wine. It has a sort of a, yeah, it's a sweetness, a lusciousness or something that it has in it. Um, anyway, we perhaps should uh, sa sure. and, <laughs> sample. And this, um, this one here is, uh, is one of the ones that Steve's introduced me to a few years ago, and it's, it's definitely on my playlist. It's a great, this is a great $10 bottle of wine, so. Yeah, this, th this is um, one of the wines that, uh, I used to always prepare what I called my sleeper list for for my daughter. That's how she got through university, <laughs> buying inexpensive but drinkable wines. <laughs> and uh, this this one was always on that list, like for ten dollars. Lots of flavors. Yeah, the um, the Garnache grape to me is always. Uh, sort of a very drinkable, kind of gulpable wine, a, a, a very good, uh, even before dinner, while you're making dinner. It's very, like, very pleasant, yeah. Yeah. These are, it's, it's, it has a lot of fruit flavor in it, like a black cherry, not, not overly sweet, but very strong fruit flavors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, still from my palate, I, I, I sense a sweetness in it, even though it's a dry wine. Like, to me, that fruity flavor is so in it that it's sweet to me, but that's just... Not, not, not overly, though. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no. Okay. Not at well, all. Why don't we try that other one? I've got some glasses right here. And okay. I guess in a real wine tasting, we'd be cleansing our palates, right? With with melon, a bit of melon or something, and, and you know, we're not cleansing our palates between wines here, guys, but... We could do that by having a short sip of this wine, and then... <laughs> <laughs> so... So tell me about the other one that you have with you. Uh, well, this is a, likewise. It's a it's a Garnacha, and 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 I was drawn to this one because it's a it's a high elevation, and the area is just to the east of where this wine is from, and it's called Galatayud, I think, close That's to that. Sounds about right. In, <laughs> in, in somewhat Spanish, and uh, anyway, supposedly this these are from very old. Uh, vines which which were planted up to a hundred years ago, which is pretty old considering all the things that that have gone on in Europe <laughs> in the last hundred years. Um, anyway, and it's a very very high elevation. It's an altitude of a thousand meters. You know, so like we're talking three thousand feet. Um, yeah. So let's have a little run at it and see what this is sure. like. Sure. But of course, in Spain. So this this wine is called. All, Pablo, Pablo. <laughs> old vine garnacha, okay. but but all the vineyards in Spain, almost every vineyard in Spain is higher elevation than anything in France. Hmm. Like it, they're up on that plateau, uh, which generally and it's hot too usually. Anyway, let me have a little look at this. That's <clears throat> that's that's very nice, that, and that's a little different from this one here. I think there's yeah. a bit more alcohol in there. It's everything the other one was, but in a way a little bit more, um, a, a little more complex, um, and definitely there's a, there's more alcohol in it, and it's it, but it's not um, for my taste anyway. It's not hot, you know, it's like too much alcohol in it. I was warned <laughs> that that Garnache could get quite high in alcohol, even though it's a fairly light looking wine. Uh, this is 14.7% alcohol, which is fairly high for um, um, for a wine, especially a European wine. 
and price point. This is this is my ten dollar. This is one of my ten dollar uh, bucket right. list go to wines. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is thirteen. This is fourteen dollars. And and you know I, I really like this fourteen dollar wine. On, I I would uh, I think on payday I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll look for this once in a while on a special yeah. payday occasion or because it really is. It's a lot more subtle. And um, it, it's uh, it is very nice. Mm. Yeah. There's there's another wine also if it, if you're working your way into the price creep up through Garnache <laughs> you can go way up but um, this one here interestingly enough it's from the same region as Pablo here this wine here is uh, Garnache de Fuego um, and it is from the Calatayud region also. Um, this one is a little more. It's about sixteen dollars. Um, it's also very good. We're not going to sample that one today. I don't think <laughs> you have to drive after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, there I, you go, I, guys. I, I would, I would maybe like to mention yes. uh, that um, the Garnache grape, uh, Grenache, in um, in France, is one of the principal grapes for uh, Chateauneuf de Pape in that blend. Um, and it gives it something that, you know, <laughs> that it gives it a fruitiness and, and actually depending on how they, they do it there, I'm not quite sure, but. Yep, so there you go. Great. So, uh, great 10 per bottle of wine. I mean, highly recommend it. And I really enjoyed this one. A few more dollars. I, I think I. Hey, price creeps, <laughs> uh -oh, price so creeps coming uh, in this, there, boy. This, this show is, uh, <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Have no fear. <laughs> Wine is here. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Well, I can. I'm gonna have to edit that out a little Boy, bit. Boy, there's some heavy editing. <laughs> <laughs>